I, the El Paso County Sheriff's Office is firing back. So far, it hasn't commented on allegations made in complaints filed by three commanders and now a deputy. And tonight, however, the Sheriff's Office released new audio to dispute a deputy's claims of verbal abuse. KRDO News Channel 13's Emily Allen joins us in our newsplex with both sides of this one. The new complaint centers around the same theme as the EEOC complaint, Emily. Yes, James and Heather, the deputy Cl Cliff Porter's complaint alleges sexual favoritism and verbal abuse for exercising his First Amendment rights. Porter was accused by the sheriff of having a private political conversation with a colleague when he was off duty, which he denies. It led to a four hour meeting with Sheriff Makita under Sheriff Paula Presley and Commander Al Harmon. During that meter, Porter meeting Porter says he was berated and physically threatened by the sheriff all because he says he didn't endorse Makita's choice for sheriff. The sheriff's office responded tonight saying it was an hour long meeting and Porter was reprimanded for making an insensitive comment about a missing persons case. Some memorandums here apparently you had a conversation with Detective Guglia yesterday um, regarding the Karen Nichols case. That's true. Okay. Um, the chief and I are in here to talk to you about that, and um, obviously, uh, more than one individual has written written a memorandums about Kara Nichols, and this particular one uh, raises some concerns for me. So you need to tell me um, exactly what that conversation was. And. I spoke with Porter's attorney tonight. He says he's not surprised the sheriff released this information. He says while the meeting started on a different topic, it quickly became clear it centered on trying to limit his client's First Amendment rights. In the Newsplex, Emily Allen Cario, News Channel 13. All right, Emily.